so just finishing off um, the first session, and yeah. I'm just going to get all this emailed over to yeah. you, just a bit yeah. of a, a review of what we've done. Yeah. You wanted to improve quality of ball striking. Yeah. You said that when you go out and play, you hit the floor a little bit before the ball, and then sometimes yes. at the top of the ball, so yes. yeah. you can hit some really good career shots, yes. and then mixed in with <coughs> some, uh, some naff ones, some, naff, some not so good yeah. ones. Um, watched you hit a few balls, and then we've used a little bit of pressure mapping. Yeah. And we need to improve how you move your pressure or how you use yeah. the ground yeah. to power your golf yeah. swing. So this is the, the swing at the, the start of the session. You have got 76% of pressure yeah. on your right foot, which is your yeah. trail foot, 24% of pressure in your lead foot. Yeah. Um, and then you can see this pressure trace kind of hovers around over the right side. So as you wind up, just get that around. as you create a backswing pivot, the pressure kind of just stays where it is. It, there's nothing else it can do. It's already over. It's already, there, it's already it? over that side. You could maybe push yeah. it the other way, which yeah. would be a reverse pivot. Um, it's just kind of hovering around. And then as you come down to, to hit the golf ball, uh, you actually reverse that pressure. It goes forward. It's just a bit of a, Bit, bit of a mess, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's is, yes. no, yeah. not linear, well, it's very just, scattered, yeah. yeah. Just on another note, we've not spoken about length of backswing. Yeah. Okay. We've not even discussed no, no, no. it. Okay. Just note where the top of your backswing is here with regard to length. Yeah. Okay. And then you come down to hit the ball. Yeah. That's the top of your swing. Yeah. Watch what happens when you improve your pressure trace. Yeah. So this is the new and improved version. Um, when you start, 57% pressure yeah. in your lead foot, 43 in your trail foot. Just before you initiate the swing, you do put a little bit more pressure into that lead foot, a little bit of a forward press, which, yeah. which is okay, okay with me. Yeah. So you'll see... Just before you move, you do pop a bit more pressure in 70-30, yeah. which is absolutely fine. Yeah. But then there's a linear movement. You're winding up and loading yeah. up, Moving leading, up. getting into this trail foot. Yeah. And just notice length yeah. of swing. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We, so didn't, we haven't spoken about no. it. No. As a result of moving better yeah. from the floor. Yeah. It has affected yeah. Yeah. or improved yeah. Yeah. what's happened above. Yeah. It's sort of 70, 80 degrees more further around than we straight And up. we've not spoke about it. No. That's just using the floor yeah. better and yeah. moving your pressure better. Yeah. So at the top of the swing, 70% pressure in your trail foot. Yeah. Yeah. We've obviously did a bit of work on trying to keep the keep the knee in position. Yeah. So we've said we don't want this knee straightening. We're yeah. trying to just keep that where yeah. it was and just yeah. Just coil the upper body and, and move move over to the right. And then the real good news is as you come back to hit the ball, your pressure moves back. Yeah, your pressure's leading. Yeah. Leading the golf club, 68%. Yeah. And then through the impact, 66%. Yeah. yeah into a nice it, yeah. balanced finish. Yeah. That's going to help yeah. quality of contact, yeah. timing and efficiency. I shall come down nights this next week and uh, just work on on that getting well no getting moving it perfect. just physically doing it perfect happy with that yeah i'm good with that thank you. thank you yeah it's been 